Hi, I'm Lisa Zara, and I'm an intuitive reader here at Sedona, Hawaii. I have two specialty readings. Uh, my first one is Meet Your Guardian Angel. A guardian angel is an angel who is assigned to you at the beginning of your life and is with you for your entire life. The guardian angel is a spirit being, so he or she has never walked on earth, but is here to protect you and to guide you. During part one, uh, when you sit down, your guardian angel will present himself or her to me. So the very first reading, um, I connect people with their guardian angel. And then do they have names or is it more like a feeling or something? I can usually give a name mm -hmm. most of the time, sometimes a description. Okay. And then I usually tell people, I teach people what their, the role of the guardian angel is and how the guardian angel can help. So learning to talk to your guardian angel is a little bit about learning a new language. Think about the way a child learns language. They listen and they watch. So I will help you to figure out what your gift is and how you can perceive messages from your own guardian angel. One of the things that our guardian angel does is to protect us. Uh, sometimes we feel unsafe or anxious. Uh, one of the things we can do is to ask our guardian angel to help filter negativity, um, help us with anxiety, help us uh, to protect us in our daily lives. So your intention is something that you want to see in your life, a goal, a desire, a dream. It gives the information to your guardian angel so that they know what to bring to you in your life. A lot of times I get people who have their own gift and they don't know how to manage it. Um, they take in so much information that they don't know how to filter it. Um, this is one of the most common things that people come to see me for. Uh, your guardian angel can help to filter all that information to help you manage your own gift. So one of the things I do is I use my singing bowl to help, to help people to connect with their own gifts so that they can hear their guardian angel. Um, it's a singing bowl that I've set the intention to open the upper chakras, your third eye and your crown chakra which is the seat of your own intuition. So the vibrations from the singing bowl help to open, open those chakras so that you can hear your own guardian angel. This singing bowl is, has a mid-tone and the vibrations will open and heal your heart chakra. So anything with love, fear, it'll let go of anything that you don't need and open your heart chakra. The low vibrations in this bowl will help to open and balance your lower chakras. It'll help to release any fears, any blockages. And I like the deep sound of this. I've also set the intention that when I have this bowl sing for us, it'll bring in Reiki and love and replace anything that you let go of. The second reading I have is how to connect with angels to manifest your dreams and desires. And when you need help with uh, career help or relationship help, mm -hmm. or it can, it can cover anything, what you want to learn. I always see the intention should come first. It gives your spirit guides the information that they need to help you, to guide you, to bring what it is that you desire into your life. So during this session, I will help you to connect with your own intuition. And in that way, you'll begin to hear your own guardian angels and your spirit guides. The coning is the name of this procedure that I'll be teaching you. And you can think of it as the, the cone that you use to communicate over long distances. I, when I talk about conings, I see actually a cone over your head. And it's like a direct connection to your spirit guides. So when you open a session with with your spirit team and you ask for help, they will actively help you with these things. I've always been able to communicate with my spirit guides. It was something I was born with. One of my intentions is to help people to connect with their own spirit guides as well. I'm Lisa Zara. I look forward to seeing you at Sedona. Come and see me for a reading.